is Samlet, and today I'm going to take you through some of my favorite exercises. Here's what I'll say about the glutes. I am always looking for variance in my workouts. I'm never doing the same workout day after day after day, right? I am doing these glute exercises every single day because I found that making sure that my glutes are engaging properly, making sure that my glutes are working uh, in movements that they're supposed to be working is one of the number one ways for me to make sure that I do not get injured. So while I generally am looking for new workouts and trying to challenge myself in new ways to make sure that my body uh, doesn't adapt too fast, these are definitely movements that I would suggest putting into your workout every single day. Let's get started. Alrighty, first exercise is going to be the glute bridge. So I'm going to lay back, my feet are about a foot away from my butt, and from here I'm going to glute bridge up, really squeeze, making sure that my glutes are rock hard, my hamstrings are nice and jiggly, and then slow on the way down, fast on the way up. Slow on the way down, fast on the way up. I'm gonna do 12 of these. So I don't need to overextend, right? We're just trying to make a straight line with their body. Squeezing my glutes as hard as I can every single rep. flip over onto our stomachs, do a little bit more glute activation. We're gonna send our heel up to the ceiling. I'm gonna put my two fingers underneath my hip bone of the leg that is working. And from here, I'm gonna rest my head down. I'm gonna lift my knee two inches off the floor and squeeze this butt cheek, making sure that my hip doesn't come up, right? And then I'll relax and squeeze and relax and squeeze. If your hamstring starts to uh, tense up, we can also do this straight out and squeeze and relax. I like the heel up to the ceiling. Squeeze, relax. Nice and slow and up, down, up, down. Really squeezing your glute every single rep. Up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down. Let's do two more. Up, down, up, down, and switch legs. So, biggest reason we're having our two fingers underneath our hip bone is because we don't want to overextend that knee and get our lower back involved. We're trying to make this an isolated glute movement. So I'll switch, put my two fingers underneath my other hip bone, Heel to the sky, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 halfway. one that we will be doing, we'll flip back over onto our backs and we're going to do some single leg glute bridge holds. So for this one, it's the exact same technique as the glute bridge. We are going to lay back, glute bridge up, really squeeze my glutes and then from here, I'm going to straighten out one leg, really push through the heel of the supporting leg for one minute. Breathe. Try to make sure that your hips are square. We're not rotating to one side. Push through the heel, really squeeze that butt cheek. Half 
halfway. Here's how we're going to do it. We are going to stand up, find our squat position, so a nice wide stance, but rather than having a slight turn out to our toes, we wanna to think about slightly pigeon toeing our toes inward. From here, I'm gonna find uh, just above our squat position, and then I'm going to side shuffle to the right 10 times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and stand, rest. If I were to use a band for that, it definitely does not need to be a heavy band. You can get a nice light band like this one. And find that squat position, pigeon toe our toes inward, and go back to the left. One, two, three, four. We wanna keep tension on that band. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and rest, good. Next one, we'll be doing it front and back. So again, we wanna pigeon to our toes in. Find our squat position. Forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stand, rest. Squat position and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stand. Whew. I feel those boots absolutely firing. <laughs> oh, okay, the next one we're going to do are called the crab glute bridges. I made it up. I don't know if I made up the movement, but I made up the name. So I'll take credit for that. Um, so what we are going to do for that, we are gonna have our fingertips facing forward. We are gonna find a crab position. Our butt is about equidistant between our heels and our fingertips. And from here, I want you to think about glute bridging up as you bring up one of your legs. And when you do that, I really want you to think about squeezing your butt cheek. So it's gonna be an isolated single leg glute squeeze. So here we go and up. Squeeze, relax, up, squeeze, relax. I like to think about trying to get my body into a straight line. You're not exactly gonna get there, but uh, that's the goal. <laughs> and up, squeeze, relax, 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 up, squeeze, relax. Up, squeeze, relax. Up, 
squeeze, relax. Up, squeeze, relax. Two more, up, squeeze, relax. Up, squeeze, relax. Awesome, hope that you felt that big glute squeeze in that movement. I found that was really tough. Uh, and for our last exercise, we are going to do a variation of the glute bridge that kind of targets a little bit of a different part of your glute. So I really like these. You butterfly your feet together, and then you do the same thing as a glute bridge. You're just pushing on the outsides of your feet to glute bridge up. Uh, I'm going to use a weight for this one. Uh, we always have the opportunity to make glute bridges a little bit more difficult by adding weight onto our hips. Um, it's not totally necessary, honestly. Like, if we're not going for maximal weight, is adding 10 pounds really gonna do that much? But it adds a little bit of intensity to it. So, we'll try it today. Feel free to do it uh, in the future. If you have heavier weights, um, give it a try. So, right on the hip bone, pushing on the outsides of my feet to glute bridge up. Up, squeeze, down. 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 Halfway, up, squeeze, down. 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 Last one, up, squeeze and hold. 10, nine, feel the glutes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome job. Oh, wasn't even a workout and I'm still sweating. Uh, but I hope that these are some new movements that you can add to your routine uh, to keep you healthy, to keep you moving well. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment below. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks.